Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB 16, the show. In this series, we're going up against the New York Mets. Our lineup is Gregory Polanco, Josh Harrison, Andrew McCutcheon, John Jaso, Jung Ho King, Sean Rodriguez, Francisco Cervelli, Cole Figuera, and Garrett Cole is on the mound in the top of the first inning. McCutcheon is up to bat the high pitch, and he's going to rip that one into the outfield. That's going to give us runners on first and second to start off the game. We're in a pretty good position. Now John Jay, so the next batter up a 3-1 count. That's almost down the middle. He's going to hit it up the middle, giving us bases loaded. We're doing what we do. Now with the bases loaded, two outs with Sean Rodriguez. He's going to pop it up into foul territory. That's not what we wanted to happen right there. We needed to put the ball into play. Now we're going on to the top of the second inning. Cervelli's going to come up with a nice hit. That's going to go to the warning track, and he's going to come up with a double. So Cervelli coming up with a nice hit and a good slide right there to avoid any tags. Cole Figuera up next with the full count. He's going to hit it right to the first baseman. He kind of bobbles it. Cole Figuera with the slide. Look at that. Nice hustle from Figuera reaching safely. Now we have bases loaded for Josh Harrison, and that ball is going to get through. That's going to give us a run, and we're going to go up 1-0 in this game. So the second time with the bases loaded, we deliver. Now Andrew McCutcheon, that's a pass ball, but it was a full count. So it ends up being a walk, an RBI for McCutcheon, and we're going up 2-0. Now Jung Ho King, he's going to hit it right to the second baseman, and that's an out. So bases loaded once again, and we did score two runs, which was good, but we would definitely have liked to score more. Cole's going to get a strike out there, and then another one in the inning. So two in the second inning for Garrett Cole. That's a good start for him. And now that's his third strikeout with a fastball inside. Now on the top of the fifth inning, John Jaso up to bat. And Jaso's going to go deep for the home run. John Jaso, he's probably been one of our best hitters all season long. And there he goes with a home run. That's going to make it 3 nothing. And that's his eighth home run of the season. I believe that's our team high. Now runners on first and second for the Mets. And we're going to get a big grounder into the double play. That was a big play for us. And then the next batter with that runner at third. And we're going to get another grounder and get out of that inning. So that was probably the best chance for the Mets. Now to the top of the sixth inning. Gregory Polanco's also going to go deep. And that's our second home run of the game. And that is going to make it 4 nothing. But that is Gregory Polanco's fifth home run of the season. Like I've been saying in the last few series, he's starting to heat up a little bit, showing off a little bit of that power. And that's going to be big for us moving on in this season. But Gary Cole once again coming up with a strikeout and then painting the corner right there for another strikeout. I lost track with how many. But in the bottom of the seventh, the nasty curveball, low and away. Garrett Cole is doing it big for us right now. And then with the full count, almost down the middle, the fastball, we got him frozen. Still in the seventh inning, another nasty pitch, the slider coming in. Cole is having a hell of a game. Now going on to the bottom of the ninth inning, he's still on the mound. And a little tapper right back to him, the throw to first, getting that first out. Now the Mets have a runner on first base, but Cole is going to force a pop-up to Sean Rodriguez, and that's going to be an easy catch. If you can't catch that, you shouldn't be in the majors. But with two outs in the inning, looking to get this last one, and a grounder right to the third baseman to throw to first, and that's the game. So Garrett Cole, nine innings, a complete game shutout. He's definitely going to be the player of the game, and he had nine strikeouts. So Garrett Cole, this was definitely his best performance of the season. A complete game shutout. And this is what we need from him moving forward. We need to have these performances every single time. If we have him along with Liriano, that's a great one-two punch. But Gregory Polanco, he also had a good game going one for four with a home run. John Jaso goes two for five with a home run. And everyone else played well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.